I've been a home brewer for uh, four to five years now, and it was time to do a career change. So I thought, might as well turn a hobby into a new work life. I like to experiment. I like the. I've started to do the fermentation thing. I do my own kombucha now, and it's a big thing. I mean, it's. I like to experiment. Like kids are there for the brew day just to help, you know, grind the, the malt or just put the stuff together. But just experiment making bread, making cheese. We've been making cheese too, which is fun. So anything that I can put together, I'll try it. I've done chemistry before and biology, but it's it's at a different level, I would say. So I have to dig back a little bit for digging my background to, 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 to help me out a little. Kitchen is one thing you can do, you know, can add the ingredients as it comes and be very inspired on the moment, but you cannot do that when you brew. There's rules to follow. If you go over a certain measurement, it's going to change the outcome. It's going to change the pH. It's going to change the fermentation time. It's going to change everything. So you have to follow the rules. It's like creativity, but it has to be funneled into the science that goes with it. The chemistry has been just an amazing thing, but there's accounting. If I'm going to open my business, I need to know what I'm getting myself into. And so there's just a whole wide range of things that mingle together to, to make the, the whole industry. It's not just the brewing, it's the brewing industry, I guess, in this thing. We go to the different breweries and different cider, um, cideries, I guess, and distilleries. And when you can see the equipment that they use, how they use it, you can see the, the, the process a little bit. We went to a yeast facility as well, where you can see how they propagate the yeast. I mean, it takes a lot of quality control and very sanitary practices to, to be able to do that. So it's just been a, an eye-opener for to see what is involved. It's not just brewing. It's, you know, there's a lot of things going on. Sourcing the ingredients is, is very important for the, the, the whatever products we're making. So we had a hops class, we had a malt class, and we had a fruit class for the fruit-based beverage, like cider and obviously the distilling, and even some in the brewing as well. So it's just to, how to integrate those ingredients in our products and how to source them, how to look for them to, to get the best products that will work for what you want to do. Um, I discovered that mixed my science, my love for science and my love for the art, so that's just a perfect way for spending my afternoons and hopefully later <laughs> do on a daily basis.